Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Oh my. People are allowed to be in the hallway, you know? He was sleeping, which I thought was really cute, but no. He's being a little stinker, aren't you? I am a good boy. So today we're actually going to be doing some arts and crafts. This is inspired by a TikTok I saw by Jay Silly, I think is how you pronounce her username. In this video, she created these super adorable little mushrooms out of hot glue and some paint, and it looks super easy and fun to do. And you know me, I love mushrooms. So I just kind of wanted to make a bunch of these. What exactly I'm going to be doing with all of them? I don't know, but I just really want to make them. <laughs> so the supplies we're going to need, obviously glue gun, hot glue. I also have a bunch of different paint colors. I have red and green to obviously do the mushrooms and then the white for the stems and the dots. But I also figured like maybe we could do some yellow mushrooms. I also have this kind of off-white creamy color. It's actually called buttermilk. I figured these could look kind of cute for just doing some simple cone cap mushrooms. I also have this bag of moss. I've had it for forever. I think at one point I was planning to make a terrarium with it, but obviously it's still in the bag, completely unopened. I thought it would be cute to, I don't know, maybe put some of the moss around the base of the mushrooms to kind of give it more of like an earthy, foresty texture to it. I don't have an outlet that I can plug into over here, so let's go into the kitchen and start making some mushrooms. Okay, I gotta get up. Fun fact, this morning I sneezed and I pulled something in my back. I'm getting old. <laughs> Mother, are you okay? I'm gonna start by making the mushroom caps. You'll want to do this on some parchment paper or something that you can easily peel the glue off of. I don't have any parchment paper, so I'm using this silicone baking mat and thankfully the glue did not destroy it. The only downside is that it leaves this pattern on the bottom, but in a way it kind of looks like gills, so I'm not too bothered by it. I'm then making the bases in a variety of shapes and sizes. I'm planning to paint dots on the mushroom caps, but I got this idea about making a 3D dotted mushroom, so on a couple caps I'm adding some dots of hot glue to see how it'll turn out. For the stems, I'm going to be dropping lines of hot glue into water. The reason for doing this is so that the stems remain more rounded, as opposed to doing lines of glue on my silicone mat and having one side be totally flat. I made a snake. <laughs> also, I know that glue isn't a conductor, but please be careful if you do decide to try this, considering it's mixing water and electricity. Not gonna lie, it takes a while to get the hang of making straight lines and oh geez, what the heck is going on here? Eventually though, I'm able to get a few stems that look semi-decent. I'm trimming down the stems to my desired size and beginning the assembly of the caps and bases. Now it's time to paint. So as it turns out, hot glue and paint are not friends. I ended up having to do several coats of paint because the paint would just not stick right away or sometimes if I did another layer it would chip off. My suggestion is just to go slow and do several light coats with a lot of drying time in between. Maybe throw on a movie or go for a walk or I guess you could literally watch paint dry if that's what you want to do. Everyone is fully painted and now it's time to add the dots. I'm going to start with my 3D mushroom, and I'm immediately regretting making this. The 3D bumps are quite tricky to paint without the paint getting in places you don't want it to be. And to be honest, it looks pretty ugly, so we're just, we're just gonna forget about her. For the other mushrooms, I'm using a toothpick to apply the dots. And already, these look so much better. For the cream colored mushrooms, I wasn't sure which color to go with, so I'm doing a couple with white dots and a couple with yellow dots. But on second thought, I don't really like either of those colors, so I'm just going to paint over the dots. In the end, I'm left with this 3D look that actually looks good, and even though the dots don't stand out as much as the red or yellow mushrooms, I still think they look pretty cool. Finally, I'm adding some dried moss to the bases. I feel like this really ties everything together and gives it a nice realistic element to the mushrooms. Plus, it hides all of my gluing and painting mistakes. Mm -hmm. 
These guys turned out so well and I think they look absolutely adorable. I've put them on my desk and combined with the plants and my salt lamp, they make my home office feel so cozy and calming. I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to make your own little mushrooms as well. Like and subscribe, I'll see you later. Bye!